Get you by me, and this is TC Curry. You're watching PokeCast. Today's episode is more of a news thing that I feel that needs to get out, and I feel that I need to help out everybody that's that's talking about this. Um, literally, I just watched a, a video from uh, Rich from Review to Tech USA. Just got done watching uh, Alpha Omega Sen's video. This is extremely important. This needs to be uh, set out there for all of us out there that um, believe in equal rights video gaming. Now, if any of you have just watched my previous video, you know that I attacked Anita Sarkeesian a lot in that video. You know, by using the Anita way. Okay, so what am I even talking about? Well, below I will have links to both of the videos that I watched, and I'll also have a link to the partition that I'm talking about. Okay, so Mirror's Edge 2 is in development, and what have they done? Because of a twit out there that has claimed to be the voice of all women gamers, that all women gamers need the person to help them become better gamers with the equality that needs to be done. Anita Sarkeesian has been brought on to the development of Mirror's Edge 2 and is being paid to help make a equal rights game for women. Now here's the catch. Anita has said flat out that we need to make sure that Mirror's Edge 2 has a completely redesigned controls for the girls only. Now, which means the game is going to be super, 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 super easy to where you could use a probably an Atari 2600 controller which is like, tink. And that's probably what she wants the game to be because she sucks at video games. Therefore, let's make the game easy enough that she can actually beat a game. What the crap is wrong with EA? We know that they are the demonized um, company, you know, that is ruled by the devil. And, um, but going out of their way to let a, a person who has lied and fraudulently made videos about video games to claim that they are against women using the one person that you know I don't know the exact number but we can probably say that it's a good 80 or 90 percent of true female gamers bloody hate this woman EA what are you thinking you can go to anywhere see any videos done by uh, female gamers and they will flat out tell you they hate her why would you bring in the one person that is hated by the entire gaming world to help you design a game that wants to make a game super easy for women which you should know by now that the gaming the game girls out there who can literally kick people's butts on the games will literally do something called boycott you um, and you will lose so much money in this and people I am not making this up you watch the other two videos um, you go read this partition and this is for real we are trying to get a partition signed to get out of this and, and for those of you that are, who can't grasp why we're pushing this, imagine this. Your favorite fast food restaurant. It could be McDonald's, uh, KFC, uh, Whataburger. It doesn't uh, matter which one of them. Imagine them going out and asking PETA, Hey, we need an idea for a new hamburger. PETA, would you help us? This is exactly what EA has done. This is exactly what they are doing. And I cannot believe that, you know, if this is just a PR stunt by EA, it is the worst one. It'd be like, um, 
you know, Nintendo going out and then all of a sudden having commercials uh, featuring Nazis in it and then selling a new Mario game. Um, it doesn't happen. It will not work. And you guys have gone out there and you have slapped the entire gaming community in the face using one of the, our arch enemies. She hates us. She hates men. She hates video games. And she says, I'm the voice of women. Guess what, women? I'm going to make sure that EA only makes easy to play video games for you. Because I know how to make an easy to play video game that completely destroys anything that this video game has shown to us. The game itself, Mirror's Edge, for any of you who have out there have ever played it or even heard about it, shows this very strong uh, woman going out trying to save uh, her sister, prove her innocence and all this, and it is amazing how they are able to showcase this. And then you bring in somebody who has bluntly said in the past that this is not a feminist. This is not a uh, woman who uh, would betray a role of a strong woman. She has made this con yeah, a very clear about uh, a movie that she reviewed saying that it was butt kiss that, the, that this lady that everybody, all these women were just proud of and happy about. She was all just like... No, this woman was being a man, baby. A man. How in the world can you guys do that to us? You have screwed us over and over and over with a lot of your games. And this might be the straw that, that will finally put you guys into bankrupt and get you to get you out of the gaming development world for good. And hopefully um, other companies will be able to pick up your main titles and actually improve them the way they're supposed to be improved. I hope this happens to EA. Now that I've got that rant off, please everybody, there is a petition, I will have the link down below, and it is literally t uh, a petition to remove uh, Nita Sarkeesian from the development from this game. And hopefully save the game that we've been waiting for for a while to come out. If this is not done and she is able to taint this game, what's next? Are we going to finally have a illogical person who lies and makes up videos just to try and prove a point that this game is against women, destroy our games, and then finally get those, those peons into where they do not deserve to be? What's next? Is PETA going to be starting to help make the menu for all of our fast food restaurants that sell meat products, animal products? No, because that's stupid. So please, everybody out there, I would say, you know, if you even care remotely about your video games, movies, which is flat say, if you care about your media not being tainted by idiots, um, these low lowlifes who think that they are representing anything and self-proclaiming themselves I am the voice of this sign this petition because this right here is going to send a uh, send a very clear message to companies we don't want this crap and you doing into this will make us boycott you and you don't want that this is important so please sign this petition if you need any more information, um, like I said, I got, I'll got i have a, uh, a link to uh, Alpha Mega Sen's uh, video um, and Rich from Review Tech USA's video. I'll have that because they give uh, some very good information, some very good points. I'm just saying it on my, on my way because you know, this is how I feel about it and to help drive the point that this is ludicrous. And oh, I'm speechless. I can't really. I, I can't believe this is really happening. So for all of you out there, yeah, check out the other two videos. Um, they're going to give you some good information. And go read the uh, petition, sign it. Uh, my comments right there. Uh, it's been pasted on my Facebook about what I wrote and. Help us save our games.
this is this is just absolutely ludicrous. I, I can't think of any other word without going to colorful words, which I don't want to. <laughs> but this is absolutely mind-boggling that EA would go and stab us in the back like this. Wow, that's all I can say. Please, sign this. Get this. This. Get this idiotic low life of a self appointed uh, woman that is over all women's decisions out of this out of this position. That way we can all send a note, a flat out message to her. We hate you. You're stupid, and leave the video games alone since you have no idea what a true video game is since all you do is make false videos about it and just leave and then of course EA you do this well let's, let's think of a few things that's gonna happen number one boycott number two we're gonna boycott your games number three we should all boycott EA games and stop buying them for a while to fly out show them you know if we did that for you know for about a month or two EA would be like um, would come out, flat out, have a press conference, and flat out say in front of everybody, we are sorry, we will never ask a feminist who is an idiot and hates video games for no apparent reason whatsoever to ever help us out again. We are sorry, please buy your games again. In fact, here, we'll give you free copies of games, just please, in the boycott. So, that's what I personally think about this, and I'm really um, pushing it that we should all go sign this. So, I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this. And, once again, thank you all. Please leave some comments below. I always appreciate any comments, and I will respond to them as quickly as I can. Um, good, bad, I don't care. But, please, at least go and sign this petition. We need this to truly happen. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.